Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'll be doing every single belly landings in different flight simulators. And we're going to see if it's possible to perform belly landings in these flight simulators. Turbo Prop Flight Simulator, Infinite Flight, Geo FS, FS Advanced, and X-Plane Flight Simulator. So without further more delay, let's begin the video. So, let's start off with the flight simulator that we mostly discuss about in this channel, Turboprop Flight Simulator. So, I'll be doing a belly landing on this C-130 in Shaw Airport and see if it's possible to do it or not. So without wasting any more time, here we go. Alright, so it seems that we can do belly landings in top of our flight simulator. As you can see, this C-130 emergency landed on the ground without any damages. So in conclusion, doing belly landings in top of our flight simulator is possible. Alright, moving on to infinite flight. Let's try to see if we can perform belly landings in infinite flight. I'll be belly landing this Eva Air Airbus A321 and see if it works or not. Here we go. Oh, it seems that we've crashed instead of a successful belly landing. Well, I'm not going to give up so easily like this. Let's just simply rewind and try again. And I failed again. At this point, I know how to break this system. Just take the plane off slowly and keep spamming at the gears button. And when the plane is about to be airborne, watch this. Ha, it's easy right? So, it's still quite possible to belly land an airplane in infinite flight, only if you all had done in this way instead, lol. One fact is that whenever you press the gear button again, the plane will bounce up and you can still control the plane on ground, as you can see. And also you still can do the ground surfaces as well. GeoFS In GeoFS, we can't crash. But does belly landings in GeoFS still work? Well, let's give it a try. I am going to belly land this Singapore Airlines Airbus A330-300 in Singapore Changi Airport and see if belly landings still work in GeoFS. Well, it still works. We still landed, but the belly landing is not quite as realistic as in Infinite Flight, not gonna lie. But still, we can still belly land in GeoFS. Though it's a bit funny that we are stuck in this weird position with nose down, lol. Next flight simulator is FS Advanced. I'll be belly landing this Ryanair Boeing 737-800 and see if belly landings are approved in flight simulator Advanced. Let's see. So magnetic, before I knew it, we talked and Oh, no matter how numerous times they have tried. There is no hope of belly landing this plane anymore. So, I'll see if the method which I've tried in Infinite Flight can help me to save this a bit. Here we go. It's time to retract the landing gear. Um, what the heck did I just see? Well, what I've seen just now is that 
The gears have retracted, however, the plane is still available to taxi on the ground even without landing gears. Well, that really flabbergasted me guys. Let me get a better view for you guys to see. Look, this plane is taxiing in an airport with invisible or hidden landing gears. Here's the view in first person mode. Anyways, so in the end, it's not possible to do belly landings in the flight simulator advanced. As every time I land a plane on the ground without landing gears, the plane will crash, even in low speeds. As you can see, we still can fully control this Ryanair Boeing 737-800, even without landing gears. Which sounds funny, not gonna lie. This is not a bug or glitch, by the way. Take note. Alright, the last mobile flight simulator we're going to test is X-Plane. Alright, so I'll be taking this random private jet off this airport and I'll be smooth landing it without gears afterwards. Let's begin. I'll be turning back to this airport after about a minute in the air and also don't ask about my takeoff, lol. Here we go. Shimmering lights around us. We take flight. Oh no, no, I crashed. I crashed. I crashed. I crashed. Well, second attempt. You will see Alright, the second try was a successful one. So, in the end, belly landing a plane in X-Plane is actually possible as well. Depends on how slow you are, definitely. Alright, and we are done for this video. So, what can I say in conclusion? Well, in all of the flight simulators that have tested for belly landings today, all, except for FS Advanced, have worked. Not gonna lie, but TFS and X-Plane had the most realistic belly landings. Don't you guys agree? Anyways, if you have any other interesting ideas for me to do, please do tell me in the comments below. And also, please do check out my vlog channel and subscribe to it as well as I'll be uploading videos that are related to real life series and more there. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to smash the like button below. And if you're here for the first time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.